Hey guys, it's your girl Corporate Carolyn and I had a wonderful idea for a video when I was um, riding back from the beach with my husband um, not too long ago and I was telling him about Dollar General. We saw a Dollar General and then I said, I hate Dollar General. <laughs> And he was like, what do you mean you hate Dollar General? I thought you hated Family Dollar. And I said, yeah, I don't like Family Dollar either. And so then we were talking and laughing and joking. And then I had an epiphany. It's like, okay, what? why don't I like Dollar General? And I'd forgotten, and I was telling him that there was this guy from my um, childhood that I went to high school and middle school with. And um, I ran into him when we were in Augusta for my mother, uh, my mother's 80th drive-by party a few years ago <clears throat> excuse me and so I ran into him he recognized me but I didn't recognize him and fortunately I was looking really good you know and I had my husband and I had my kids and then so he's like Carolyn is that you and then I was like I don't recognize he's like you really don't recognize me and I said no I don't and then after a while I looked at him for a while and I remembered him and I said yeah I remember you um you weren't very nice. And then so, um, you know, he just started laughing. He says, oh, no, no, I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't mean to you or whatever. Because, you know, I'm standing there with my husband and my grown sons. And so then um, the funny thing is I um, introduced him to my husband. I said, oh, yeah, this is my husband. You know, and these are our boys, you know, our sons rather because they're men. And then, um, you know, so then we talked briefly and then he went away. He was really done when I said, yeah, you weren't very nice. And that's all I could remember of him, right? So that's like from my past. And then when I was telling my husband about Dollar General um, to circle back, I said, I know why I don't like Dollar General because I remember back in the early 80s, um, my mom and I used to go there and they had like a $5 bin and they would have all sorts of odds and ends there. And of course, they had a pair of pea green and orange cat heads. And by cat heads, I mean they had like, you know, like a little white covering right over your toes. And they had a pair of cat heads, as we used to call them, for $5. And I needed gym shoes for um, for school, and so my mother decides to get those five dollar things. Now I'm not mad at her because you know my father wasn't trying to support us, and um, you know she was struggling to take care of us by herself. And so those five dollar cat heads, she didn't realize that they would make my life a living H E double hockey sticks. And so one time um, when I was at um, at um, PE, and then that guy who um, we ran into at the restaurant. Um, he was among the group of people that were playing keep away with my green cat heads and they were throwing them around. If the ground could have opened up and swallowed me into it, I would have been so happy to have gone there because <clears throat> it was horrible. And so the funny thing is the parallel is the fact that my mind says I hate Dollar General. It's not that I hate Dollar General. It's just that the memories I associate with Dollar General are bad. Same thing was for Kmart when um, we were on our honeymoon in the Poconos and we went to a Kmart to grab, I don't know, like bug spray or something. And I had to pass through the ladies clothes section. I was walking really, really fast. And I was like, why won't I even glance at the ladies clothes? And I was just like looking straight ahead. I wouldn't look. And after doing some reflection and soul searching, I realized it was because we used to buy my Easter um, clothes from Kmart and, um, and we used to put them on layaway. That shows you how poor we were. We had to put stuff on layaway at Kmart in order to get um, my Easter clothes. So for those reasons, I didn't like Kmart. Um, that's probably why I don't like Family Dollar and Dollar General based on bad experiences from my past. So I'm going to tell you, or I just told you, all of this stuff about things that kind of trigger me, right? Um, but are you doing that in your current day relationships? Did you maybe have a guy that cheated on you, um, that wasn't very nice to you, that was critical of you? And then when the new guy that you're with, when he does things that, um, that cause you to feel that way, even if he hasn't done the same thing, even if it's not at the same level that the other person did it, but then all of a sudden you're treating him the same way that you treated a guy from your past. 
Are you making the current guy pay for what was done to you in the past? Like Dollar General ain't done nothing to me recently or ever really, but I'm judging it based on something that happened in the past. Like, are you going through your current guy's phone? You know, like um, breaking the code or, or making him show you that or giving him the third degree when, you know, he might have been five minutes late. Men don't, good men don't want to put up with that foolishness. In fact, my husband had to bust me out years ago because I was like asking him all these questions. And he said, you're going to fool around and be by yourself if you don't tr learn to trust somebody. And I was in shock, you know, that he spoke to me that way, but he was right. Um, he wasn't the guy with the jerry curl that dogged me out. He didn't deserve such scrutiny. He hadn't done anything wrong. It was just my past experiences that were triggering me and making me act a fool in the present day. So do you have any triggers from your past or past experiences that are causing you to act a fool in your present day? and maybe treating your possible Mr. Right the way that he doesn't deserve to be treated, the way that the old people in the past deserve to be treated. So if you are, I want you to stop that because you could be scaring him off. You could be chasing your Mr. Wrong, I mean your Mr. Right off. I want you to chase the Mr. Wrongs off, but your Mr. Rights, you're probably um, making them suffer from things that you have in your garbage disposal that you haven't removed and moved on from. So I encourage you to like remove any old baggage or you know old bad feelings that you might have and every relationship start with a clean slate. Don't judge um, the new guy based on what was done to you in the past. All men are not the same. You don't believe all women are the same, do you? All men are not the same. And so you need to treat them fairly. Be vulnerable. Start with a clean slate. That's what they deserve. That's what you deserve, right? You shouldn't be treated um, in a way based on the way that his old girlfriend might have behaved. You don't want him to make you pay for her mistakes, right? So you can't make the new guy pay for the past sins of your old relationships. You need to start from scratch um, with a fresh and clean slate and then move forward into your future, not thinking about what was in the past. I need to give Dollar General a chance. There may be some good things there. And my husband, he said, but you don't mind Dollar Tree, you know, like the regular dollar store. And I said, well, yeah, you know, I don't have any problems with Dollar Tree, but that was before I put it together that that guy from my past and Dollar General had the green cat heads that I was mortified to be wearing. And so, but now I've put it all together. Therapy would probably be a good thing for me, but I haven't done it. But like slowly in, you know, in like my later years at 58, I'm starting to understand myself better. And I encourage you to do the same thing, even though you're not as old as I am, but you should start to understand yourself. Why am I acting that way? Why am I being, you know, short or mean or smart alecky, sarcastic, distrusting, you know, and then figure yourself out so you don't mess up your future relationships because your Mr. Right is out there. Um, you don't want to act a fool when you get him. You know, you don't want to run him away. So hopefully that helps some of you guys out there, you know, to figure out um, what you might need to do differently in future relationships because there's always room for improvement and you don't realize that your past really does affect how you act um, in your present day or in your future if you're not careful to identify what's going on and to not be afraid to change it. So hopefully you will do the work, get yourself on a good path because your Mr. Right is out there. I just know it. I can't wait to hear about it when you find him. But until then, I hope you have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.